This was my first time to St. Lucia, which is located in the Eastern Caribbean, south of Martinique and north of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Now, one of the things for which St. Lucia is popularly known are the pitons, the Gros and Petit Piton, which, by the way, are a world heritage site. Listen, hearing about them and seeing them in real life are two different experiences. They looked magical and I knew I had to conquer at least one. After much contemplation, I decided I would try with conquering the Gros Piton. Shout out to Caribcation for organizing the drive to Souffre, which is where the Gros and Petit Piton are located in the southern part of the island of St. Lucia. Where the smoke is? Yes. That's yeah. where the volcano is? That, that's where it is, yes. Okay, so... Yeah. And <laughs> we're, passing the, we're passing the volcano uh -huh. to go to the Piton, and our way back, we'll be stopping at the volcano. All right. Yeah, and from Guys. the volcano, we, we're coming down in town Souffre. That one is the Gros yeah. Piton? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. The, the other right. one? Yeah, the, the one at the back. Yeah, the Piti, yeah. That's very steep. Yes, it is. Yeah. So... And the third quarter is the steepest <laughs> for the Piti Piton. So yeah. we're gonna take it on this morning. Yeah. We're gonna take it on. Yeah. In Souffre, the, the tongue of Souffre. All right, so yeah. we have arrived in Souffre. Uh -huh. Yeah. Botanical garden and, and uh, which is also have the diamond fall in the, in the garden. Uh -huh. And two rifle is also on this side, like after the church. So okay. they go this way, yeah. We arrived much earlier than we thought we would have because there was no traffic on the road heading to Soufre that morning. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, even if it were a 10 hour drive, I probably wouldn't notice because Jerome, our driver, was such good company. All right, so this is my guide, Curly Interest. I should do this every day, seven day a week. Jesus. I'm gonna zoom out so when I can't see it good. <laughs> hey. I grew up with me and walk in at your cartel. Eh? Come on. Your cartel, your cartel. World boss. World boss. You went to Petit Piton yesterday? Petit Piton yesterday. And you're going back to Grow Piton today? Grow Piton today. And you just come here and tell me that it's hard and you're going again? She's talking out of my league. But, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you, you, you've been to Jamaica. Jamaica. You love Jamaica? Uh, all my friends are in Jamaica. And what you learn? And they will smoke ganja. I can't bother with you. Know. <laughs> Jesus. What did you just tell me? I don't know. At <laughs> <laughs> this point. So there you'll be able to see the Ansler Point Beach, the Lapwick Carry Village, and St. Vincent, which is 27 miles south of St. Lucia. If it's clear, 30 minutes from here, we'll get to Premier Posey, you mean first race. It doesn't mean you take your first race there, you can take it anywhere along the trail. Also, the halfway point. There you'll be able to see the view of Piti Piton, Volkin and Chastney and the Caribbean Sea. We rest for a little while, then it will take us 25 to 40 minutes from here to get to this big mango tree. This mango tree is approximately 300 years old, also 2 meters in diameter. From this point is another 25 more minutes to the summit. When you get to the summit, we the guide will be explaining what you'll be seeing, but you'll be taking the same trail back down. So the mountain reaches an altitude of 2,619 feet above sea level, but right now we're at 600 feet above sea level. First half is rated moderate, second half strenuous. Any questions? <laughs> you know it's very clear. <laughs> Where's my donkey? Donkey? <laughs> All right. Made it to the first lookout point. Nice to be here, Matt. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. That's it. Good point. Watch my top guide. <laughs> it was at this point in the hike that I really started to question my sanity. This hike really requires a lot of mental focus and stamina. It is not for the faint of heart. Saw a few tourists coming down the hill and I said, oh, not too far. So I decided, well, no turning back now. What I will say is the view made it absolutely worth it. It's in moments like these that you really realize how we are so minute as human beings and how majestic nature is. Wow. I just had to stand there to soak in the view, knowing that I did conquer Gropitan as I set out to.